Bonifiglio. Ma, I was asleep. So was I. That's when it came to me. Picture this. Sicily, 1922. The village is in a terrible wine crisis. It's the peak of the wine season, and all our grape stompers are ravaged by an outbreak of athlete's foot. <laughs> Soon, the Chianti has a green hue and tastes like Desinex. <laughs> they call in Sicily's foremost podiatrist, Bruno Bonafiglio. He's the one who prescribed arch supports for Mussolini. <laughs> Must have really helped his lower back when they hung him by his heels. Forget him. I'm talking about Bruno Bonafiglio. I take one look at him, and I have a hunch he's trouble. But nobody believes me. So what happens? He cures everybody, and wine sales skyrocket. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ma, Ma, unless I'm missing something, your hunch was wrong. My hunches are never wrong. Now... Everyone is living high on the hog and eating rich foods. The next thing you know, there's a gout epidemic. Nobody can stomp grapes. And Bruno makes a killing selling orthopedic sandals. Now don't tell me he went to America and changed his name to Dr. Scholl. No. Actually, he developed a foot fetish and suffocated when he shoved his head in a lady's rubber boot. <laughs> Ma, don't ever wake me up again. <laughs>